So today we're going to talk about the seven reasons why you are up through the night and you can't sleep through the entire night. If you have a problem sleeping, this is a very important video. I've done other videos that explain parts of this, but I've never done a video that explains all the reasons. So uh, this is based on working with uh, 40,000 people over 29 years. Okay, so this is the stuff that will help you. Number one, high blood sugar. If you're diabetic or a pre-diabetic and you have high blood sugars, what happens is that water follows the sugar. So you're gonna end up uh, peeing more, especially at night. So just by fixing the blood sugar issue, you'll be able to hold the urine a lot longer. So if you're new to my channel, I put a link down below of how to do that. Number two, which relates to one, high insulin, which is a little different. Insulin stimulates something called the sympathetic nervous system, the system that's called the flight or fight, like part of the nervous system that controls the stress signals, okay? When you have too much of this system, um, you will not be able to hold your bladder. So you're gonna wanna get up and go to the bathroom over and over and over again. So you wanna decrease insulin. The same solution that fixes this will fix this. I put a link down below. Number three, high cortisol. This is the adrenal hormone. This is the stress hormone. And what happens is when you go to bed at night, normally you go through four waves of sleep. These are called circadian waves from a superficial wave, which is the REM sleep, to the deep delta wave sleep right here. With higher levels of cortisol, not only are you not able to get into the deeper sleep cycles, but usually you're gonna end up waking up about 2 a.m. in the morning, which is exactly when you should have the deepest sleep. And I used to have this problem as well because I had high cortisol. But you wake up at two and you are completely awake. In fact, you're more awake in the middle of the night than you are during the day. Yet sometimes they're flipped. So in the middle of the night when you should be sleeping, that's when you're the most awake. And then when you wake up in the morning, you're the most tired right here. This situation usually occurs when you have years of stress. I put a link down below of exactly what to do about it. Um, it's in my stress webinar. I show you how to fix this problem right here. But another thing you can do as a temporary solution is to take higher amounts of vitamin D3. It can really help uh, restore your cortisol levels. Um, number four, um, too much coffee and tea because of the caffeine. It's a stimulant and it takes a certain amount for your liver to uh, get rid of that caffeine. Uh, personally, I consume one small cup of coffee in the morning, that's it. I don't have any tea, anything else, simply because I used to drink a ton of coffee. It's just something you need to be aware of because if you're doing everything else right and you're just doing a little too much of this or too much of this, that could be the reason why you're just not sleeping through the night. Number five, um, too much artificial light. So let's say, for example, you have a computer job or you're behind your computer all day long and you have this LED screen in your, in your eyes. This is definitely not good for the activation of certain hormones that help you sleep at night. So you want to get a full spectrum light around your desk in your computer. And you also want to go for a walk to offset the sitting in front of the computer all day long. And also uh, get some vitamin D or in sunlight on your face. And also one last point, when you're out in the sun, and I see people wear the dark glasses and they don't get any sun in their eyes. And not to look into the sun at 12 o'clock noon, okay? But just allow the natural sunlight to uh, penetrate the eyes so you can have somewhat of a recharging effect. All right, number six, sleep apnea. Very common, very simple solution. Um, all you have to do, well, this is a temporary solution because vitamin B1 helps a certain area in the brainstem that's involved with breathing, okay, the breathing centers. And if you're deficient, you're gonna have a big problem with this at night. So it's just a matter of taking some B1 and also getting rid of the reason why you're depleted in B1. The most common one is you're consuming too many carbohydrates, okay? So it comes back to these two right here. You need to lower the carbohydrates in your diet and you also need to take nutritional yeast, which has the natural B1 versus a synthetic vitamin. Also, B1 helps the excessive thinking all the time that people are 
have anxiety and they're worried all the time and that nervous tension, that's gonna, that could keep you from sleeping as well. And there's one more condition called lactic acidosis. It's a byproduct of having too much carbohydrate in the diet and that can build up and that can actually throw up your pH. Well, it just so happens that vitamin B1 gets rid of this, this lactic acid, okay? All right, I wanna talk about the last one, number seven, which is pH. That can affect your sleep. There's two situations. One is that your body is too alkaline, and the other is your body is too acid. Now, if you're too alkaline, you're gonna have a lot of cramping. Your muscles are gonna be tense and tight. And there's nothing that will wake you up faster than having a charley horse in the middle of the night, okay? Vitamin D will also help this, vitamin D3. But in reality, you may want to take some apple cider vinegar because these minerals, the alkaline minerals, especially like magnesium, uh, potassium, calcium, and even sodium need a certain pH for those minerals to be activated. If your pH is too alkaline, these minerals just don't work. And so you're going to have a lot of cramping muscles, tetany, a lot of spasms, things like that. So it's just a matter of adding the apple cider vinegar. Uh, vitamin D3 would help your calcium absorption because if you're low in calcium, you won't be able to relax too. So you might be exhausted, but your head won't turn off, okay? Vitamin D will help you with that. Vitamin D will also help you with the high cortisol, but also it can act as an off switch. If you're laying there at night, you just can't wind down this can help get you in that deeper delta wave sleep. Now, one time I remember drinking too much um, kombucha tea. It comes in a bottle like this, and it's very carbonated, very acidic. I drank the whole thing when normally you should drink like half of it or less than that. And I remember just having these symptoms right here. My pulse rate went up. Um, I was really restless. The nervous system was on edge, higher pulse rate and air hunger, so I was sighing frequently, like <sighs> just couldn't get enough air. So what you need to do for this one is alkalize the body, and you can do it several ways. Uh, you can do it with calcium, magnesium, or potassium. Now you have all seven reasons why you're not sleeping. Apply the one that fits your situation and comment below. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.